And we start with breaking news from our partners at the Austin Business Journal. Samsung has a new proposal for Central Texas. If it goes through, it would mean a $190 billion investment in the area. And joining us this afternoon is Justin Sayers with the Austin Business Journal. Justin, thank you so much for joining us. Some interesting perspective at the beginning of your piece. You said that this has the potential to be one of the paramount economic development deals in American history. So Justin, just break this down for us, this proposal for the new semiconductor plants. Yeah, and thank you so much for having me. Um, yeah, the, the investment would top uh, $192 million, billion, um, which to put that into perspective, uh, Intel, which announced their big semiconductor campus in Ohio, uh, that was $10 billion, but they've said it would it could uh, reach up to $100 billion. So we're talking almost double that. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of hard to put into words, you know, how transformative this project could be for the Central Texas region. And Justin, what was the first clue that this expansion was in the works? Yeah, so there actually were a ton of clues. Uh, when they proposed the Taylor facility, they purchased, you know, about 1,200 acres of land. Uh, they said that, you know, the first fab was only going to be the start of their investment in Taylor. But the big clue was a couple months ago, you know, uh, there's a chapter 313 program in the state that offers incentives for property tax uh, in school districts. And uh, they had applied for incentives applications to kind of fall under that program before it goes out of out of uh, use. So they had filed for 11 of these applications two months ago. Uh, signifying that they were eyeing greater developments and, you know, those became public today. So we've been talking a lot, obviously, about the population boom. Yesterday we were talking about housing and how there's not um, enough supply to meet the demand. So we expect, mm -hmm. obviously, more people likely coming to the area because of the jobs that this will bring to the area. How many? Do we have a, a number on that? Yeah, so uh, they're saying between these 11 projects, which to put it into perspective, they're projecting these projects to go online between 2034 and 2042, so a pretty long way out. But they're saying that it could bring at least 10,000 jobs to both the, the site in uh, North Austin and the site in Taylor. So obviously, you know, for Taylor, it's a city of about 16,000 people. Uh, that influx of people would be, you know, pretty significant. So luckily they have about, you know, uh, a decade to, to kind of prepare for that. and you know, hopefully get our housing inventory up to where it needs to be. And then are we seeing other companies now looking to expand in Central Texas because of this proposal from Samsung? Yeah, so, you know, a big thing about the semiconductor industry is not only are the companies, you know, relocating to the Austin area, their suppliers are as well, or the suppliers that are here already are already looking to expand. So with Samsung, you know, there's a, their, their gas supplier, uh, is already looking to expand it to Taylor. Uh, there are some suppliers that have already announced expansions or relocations to Round Rock or Hutto. Um, you know, it, it's it's kind of hard to, to put into words, you know, the economic fallout of, uh, you know, what a project like this could mean, you know, all the way down to bringing restaurants and, you know, other businesses that might want to try to get into these booming areas. Okay, Justin Sayers with the Austin Business Journal. Thank you so much. We'll continue tracking your reporting on this. Yeah, thank you so much.